you see this? It's me editing this video that you're watching because I didn't record an intro. Hey guys, my name is Allison. I'm a grad student in Tokyo and I'm going to take you through a weekend of my life in Tokyo. So on Saturday, I went climbing on Mount Takao, which is actually like in Tokyo City, technically. And I wanted to die because it was so difficult. Oh my god. We did not take the chairlift or the cable car. We walked up it. We hiked it, you could say. And it was miserable. <laughs> and then Sunday, I had a lot of errands to run. And I went shopping. And I went to the Pokemon Center. Yeah. So... So let's go!
<laughs> it's a video. I <laughs> thought <laughs> it's a picture. Hey guys, it's Allison. I didn't do an intro yesterday because that's just who I am. But it's a new day. I'm going to Ikebukuro because my favorite store has a sale. And also, I tried to send out a package the other day to send home for Christmas, and it got rejected at the airport because I had a magnet in it. So I have to go and pick that up and resend it. So that's super fun. Great, 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 great. Let's go. At least it's a beautiful day. My looks. My looks. Ooh. shiny I am. I just ran home because it started to rain even though the weather forecast said it would be sunny. It started to rain and I had my laundry out so I jumped on the train and I ran home and I made it so they only got sprinkled on a little bit so that's a success. But now I'm really tired. <laughs> okay the delivery man just came while I was on the toilet so that's that's really fun. Okay, so let's just do a little mini haul of what I got at the mall. In bag number one is da -da -da, a Christmas present for my friend. 
so I can't show you it. Then I went to Fran Fran, which is probably my favorite home decor store. It's a little pricey though, so I can't buy everything there. But I just got a little coaster and this towel. It's like a microfiber type, so it dries really quickly. I really like the color. And then the reason I went to the mall <laughs> is because it had a sale of my favorite clothing brand. I only got two things. I got this dress. It has this really nice like corduroy material and it has pockets. Amazing. Buttons. I think it's super cute for like fall, even winter and spring I think it can be fine. I don't really like like only wearing certain colors certain times of the year because then half the wardrobe is unwearable. And then I didn't get the white shirt I tried on. I got this other one, very similar. But um, this blouse, what do you call this? The collar, the collar is smaller. The collar is smaller like this. So I can wear it under that dress, under sweaters, things like that. And I think it just really levels up an outfit. So this is the shirt, or blouse, I guess, without anything else. Has a little collar in the back, too. I mean, I wouldn't wear it out just like this, I don't think. The sleeves, actually, <laughs> they kind of fit me. Basically, all Japanese sleeves are too short. Well, these are too short, too. <laughs> but <laughs> they're not as short as some other ones, especially like these um, like Japanese, Japanese brands. <laughs> Like not Uniqlo or you know just more I don't know local brands so this is what the dress looks like I definitely prefer this like smaller collar I think the other one it was just it was just too much for me personally this shirt is a little bit thin but I'd probably be wearing a jacket anyway and I can always wear heat tech under it yeah, the sleeves are too short, but you know, I've just accepted this <laughs> as a way of life here. I'm not even that tall. I'm only five foot six. And yet, I don't know, my arms are just so long. <laughs> so this is what I mean by like wearing it like with a sweater. This one's maybe a little too tight, but you know, just any sweater, especially like a sweatshirt type, I think. It really makes it look like you tried a lot harder on your outfit. <laughs> pocket, pocket. Pockets, pockets. So if you ever like want to be super like hyped up, like forget about your friends, just go to one of these types of stores in Japan. Like not like Uniqlo or GU or anything like that, but like these kind of smaller brands, like this one, really any brand where the clothes cost more than $50, they're gonna like really hype you up. Like even when you're just like looking at things, they're gonna just ask you to like to hold it up to you and they'll be like, oh my God, you look amazing in this. You're so cute. And then in like Fint, especially some of these like a little more expensive stores, they like make you come out of the changing room. So like you can like do like a little, a little spin for the shop person if the store is not that crowded. And then they'll basically tell you why it looks amazing on you. <laughs> it's kind of surreal. I've never had this level of hype before in America. I don't, okay, it works. It really works because I do find myself just buying more probably than I would normally because, you know, the storekeepers here are so nice. They're just like, ah, oh, kawaii, sugoi. <laughs> and I was like, oh, thank you. Ah. It's like, yeah, maybe I don't really look that good, but I don't know. I'm weak. <laughs> okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's vlog of my weekend as a graduate student in Tokyo. Please stick around, subscribe, leave a comment. If you have any questions, like the video. There will be more content like this, like about Japan, Tokyo, fashion, <laughs> that type of thing in the future. So I'll see you then. Bye.